this is my very first video vlog. I think they call it a vlog. So this is my very first vlog ever. Uh, I was asked by Time Out for Girls, the amazing team at Deseret Book, uh, and Time Out for Women, to do a vlog for the girls who are going back to school this week. Or this month, I guess. So, uh, here's what here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the three ways to make sure you have tons of friends at school this year. All right? Three ways. Because some people will come to me and they'll like, Brother Smith, how come I don't have friends? And I'll be honest with them. And I'll say, here's why you don't have friends. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, no, you have friends. Your mom's your friend. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be honest with them and tell them why they don't have friends. So, Here's the three reasons most teenagers don't have friends, or the three ways to make sure you always do have friends. All right, number one is you need to smile. Smiling is important. It makes you look amiable and approachable. You need to smile. I know it feels kind of creepy to smile as you walk around and look at people, but you need to do it anyway. Here's why. Because if you're sitting at the hallway, in the hallway, at church or at school, uh, and you think you look comfortable. You don't. You look angry. For example, when you're walking down the hall and people look at you and they see this. And you think, why isn't anyone talking to me? What they're thinking is, why is she insane? Why is she crazy? She looks like she's going to kill someone. So, I want you to smile. I want you to get used to making eye contact and smile. If you need to, walk around your house, make eye contact with people, and smile at them. All right, that's number one. Smile. Number two is be good with names. Be able to call people by their name. Now, don't be one of these girls that's like, well, Brother Smith, I'm just not very good with names. Don't do that, because what I hear is, I just don't care about anyone but myself. So I need you to do your best to learn people's names. You're not gonna be perfect at it, but you can get better at it every single day. So make sure you ask people their name and you pay attention when they tell you. Uh, and make sure you use that name often whenever you see them. And if you do forget a name, just quickly say something like, Oh, I forgot your name. What was it again? Don't try to be one of these people that says, Hey, you. Hey, friend. Hey, pal. No one wants to be called friend, you, or pal, because that's not their name. Remember, the most beautiful word in anyone's language is their own name. So make sure you're good with using names. All right, so what was number one? Smile. Good. Hope you haven't forgotten that one. Number two, be good with names. Number three, I'm going to tell you in the way my dad used to tell me. He would say, Hank, you can make more friends in two minutes being interested in other people than you can in two years trying to make other people become interested in you. Let me say it again so you get it. You can make more friends in two minutes being interested in other people or, hey, who are you? Where are you from? What do you like? Why do you like it? Than you can in two years trying to make other people be interested in you, which is, let's talk about me. This is what I like. Don't you think that that's cool that I like that? Enough about you or enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think of me? Don't be one of those people. You don't want to be one of those people. So be genuinely interested in other people. Remember, you have to be genuine. It can't be fake. It can't be, well, I need to ask you about you so you'll be my friend. You can't do that. You have to be genuine at this. And if you're going to need to, you might have to pray about it so you can be really genuine. All right, so what was number one? Smile. What's number two? Be good with names. And number three, be genuinely interested in other people. If you do those three things, you will always have friends. Now, if you don't like human beings and you don't want to have friends, then just do the opposite, which is number one, never smile. Just kind of scowl at everyone or stare straight ahead. Number two, don't call anyone by their name. Just call them, hey, you, buckaroo, hey, pal, hey, crazy. And number three, don't be interested in other people. Just talk about yourself. In fact, interrupt other people when they're talking and talk about yourself. I can guarantee you, you'll never have friends that way. So this is my first blog Hopefully you enjoyed it, learned a little something, and you're going to have tons of friends at school. I'd like to thank one little girl for helping me today. This is my daughter, Madeline. She's 11, and she has learned how to always have friends. Church is true. I promise. Bye. Bye.